We are going to start, though, with Manchester City. The big news today that this deal has been agreed. Mark, where are we with it? Huge deal. It's quite interesting because there's not many players in the world that want to leave a Pep Guardiola side, but Julian Alvarez is one of those. I think you speak to any footballer in the world, they want to play for Pep Guardiola. So this is an interesting thing, and it's a huge deal, like you rightly say. A deal that we brought you on Sky Sports News earlier on today, a total package worth up to £82 million was agreed with Atletico Madrid. It was after a positive 24 hours of dialogue between the two football clubs. And it's something that we've been speaking about throughout the course of this summer. And quite interestingly, Julian Alvarez has been rather vocal whilst away at the Olympics about his future. And Pep Guardiola, in every single pre-season press conference, was asked, what's happening with Alvarez? What's the latest? And he was very relaxed on the situation. The package breaks down as around 64 to 65 million pounds up front with around 17 million in add-ons as well and becomes the biggest sale that Manchester City have ever made. Quite amazing because they paid just 14 million pounds for him a couple of uh, years ago from River Plate. So it's a huge markup, a huge profit. So certainly a, a big positive for the recruitment side. We're not expecting personal terms to be an issue for this one. But once again, a player getting the move he wants, Pep Guardiola, really relaxed about losing someone who's a first team player. What is even more interesting is they have made around 30 million more than the price they paid for Erling Haaland for their backup striker. Exceptional business. Yeah, the uh, City renowned for the, the great business they do. But Tim, where does this leave them on the pitch? Do they stick with what they've got or do they twist on a replacement? I think the first thing to say is that City do have a lot of attacking options, but they don't have a natural replacement for Erling Haaland. But we've seen in the past that they played with a false nine. They've had a, a lot of success doing that. So that is one option for them. Something that Pep Guardiola did say, though, was that they would only sign a first-team player if they sold a first-team player. So that does open the door for a deal. But Oscar Bob has been hugely impressive in pre-season. We saw Cole Palmer move to get first-team football. Oscar Bob will want opportunities, I'm sure, in the coming season. James McAtee, another player that's gone out, had a couple of really good seasons at Sheffield United. I think there's every chance that he'll get an opportunity from Pep this season. Yeah, he's impressed in pre-season as well. And Savinio is another player that... I think there's a lot of excitement about this player. He did really well in La Liga last season. So they do have options, but... If they do bring somebody in, I think it's going to be a forward who will be versatile because we saw with Alvarez, he played down the middle. He played on either side as well. He played as a number 10. So there will be that versatility, but it's certainly an option for them to bring someone in. But as Mark said, I think Pep will be quite calm about the situation given the strength of his squad.